Turn in our Bibles once again to Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 17. Ephesians 6, verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time that we have to open your word, to meditate upon it, and to consider these important truths. We just ask, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would be our teacher and guide now. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. This morning, we're going to do something a little different. Uh, Last week, we looked in verse 17, and we really finished our study in Ephesians 6, 17. And last week, we looked at the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, as a defensive weapon. And that's how it's portrayed in this chapter. In Ephesians 6, Paul is speaking about uh, the Christian soldier in a personal attack from the devil and all the the armor that we have and the weapon, the one weapon that we have, is the sword of the Spirit. And so we looked at the sword of the Spirit in a defensive way last week. But today we're going to step aside from the context in Ephesians chapter 6 and make an application from that because the rest of the New Testament indicates to us that there is an offensive use of the Word of God as well. And that's what we want to look at, at least one aspect of the offensive uh, use of God's word. And that has to do with evangelism. Evangelism is spiritual warfare. And that's the connection, the application we're making from this passage that's all about spiritual warfare.